हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज अंश फ्रॉम बिटन टेक इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कंप्यूटर पोर्ट्स यूज इन नेटवर्क कम्युनिकेशन वाई आर द यूज एंड देर एप्लीकेशन एंड यूज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Computer ports can be physical or virtual. If we are talking about the physical ports, then they are also called the serial ports, which connect a computer to a network via cables like a router, modem, and other peripheral devices. They are of many types, including Ethernet ports, USB ports, and serial ports. They offer physical connection and are often prone to hardware failures. On the other hand, there are virtual ports, which are an essential component of computer networking virtual ports allow client computers to communicate to a server via specific ports on which the service is running they help to manage network traffic through predefined data locations which are assigned their own unique port numbers you can understand this concept from an example consider a city with a number of houses consider these houses as the host computers Now each house will have a unique address for an outsider. Let's suppose this address as the IP address. Now an outsider sends data to a particular IP. After reaching the destination through TCP or UDP, it will encounter a number of locations to get access to the system or the house. As a normal house has more than one door for entry, let's call these doors as the ports we are talking about. Now each door is made for a specific service just like network ports. So a network port allows a client to get access to a system or a server via specific locations opened for a specific service. Firewalls additionally provide control over the flow of traffic by filtering access through these ports for security purposes. It can even block certain ports to ensure that no attacker gets access to attack a system. If you want to get access to a specified service hosted on a system you need to specify the port for it along with the IP the port number is written like this every service and protocol has its own port number these ports are written as a 16 bit number ranging from 0 to 65535 ports 0 to 1024 are reserved for standard protocols rest of them can be user defined The HTTP protocol has its port 80 to communicate with the clients. Similarly, FTP has 21, HTTPS has 443 and so on. Here is a list of some common port numbers associated with the common protocols. Every time you search something on the internet, the request goes through a specific port on the server. So that was all for today and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more of such technical knowledge, tricks and tutorials. So until next video, stay tuned, keep watching and goodbye.